I'm at the center of the Fishers. Amber Alert is back in central Indiana tonight, but still behind bars. Jennifer Ansari made an appearance in a Hamilton County court today, and we've learned surprising new information about the hours that led up to the Amber Alert. RTV 6's Norman Cox is here with that story. Norman. Well, Ansari is being held in the Hamilton County Jail. She's facing up to three years in prison and a $10,000 fine, and she may have something else to explain besides the removal of her eight-year-old daughter, Sophia, from Fishers to Kentucky. Jennifer Ansari, shown here in a video from a Kentucky court after her arrest there, did not appear in person in the Hamilton County Court. She made her plea by video link from the jail. And she now may have something else to explain besides taking her daughter, Sophia, to her parents' home in Kentucky after receiving word that she was losing custody to her ex-husband, Aaron Snow. RTV6 has obtained this report from the Fishers Police Department describing an incident at the Ansari home following the news of the custody decision. Her current husband, Suhal Ansari, told police that his wife began throwing things around the apartment, causing damage, and that she said, if I had a gun, I would shoot everyone in my family. But attorney Matthew Lemmy says her intention was only to care for her daughter, and there was never a question of Ansari trying to take Sophia away where she couldn't be found. Jennifer went to her mother's house. That's where Jennifer said she would go. That's where television stations like yours reported she would be, and that's where she was. She's trying to take care of her children. That's what she wants to do, and we want to get her home to take care of her children as soon as we can. Ansari is currently being held under a half million dollars bond. Lemmy asked that it be reduced and said she is not a flight risk, but the magistrate, David Najjar, told him that was not under his jurisdiction. I'm Norman Cox, RTV6.